What's going on dudes, it is Colossalis here, welcome back to some more Heroes of the Storm. Today, another video, we will be taking a look at just recently buffed Chromie. She was buffed just basically around an hour ago. Um, she has received some buffs to her health total, her regeneration alongside with some damage buffs, but also some talent reworks. Um, they decided to kind of give her a, a little bit less crowd control and you know maybe a little less ability uh, like power increase with talents but they decided to just give her more baseline kind of blow up damage that's very interesting um you know and but like her build did not change either so what i'm gonna do today i'm just gonna go for her q build because i just, just because i still haven't shown that shown it off um historically i have played a little bit of chromie i did say she's gonna be my favorite mage but it kind of fell out just because um i just didn't have anyone to play with and when you play q quick match with chromie it's just not a very good uh, not a very good experience at all just because you know she has to know where she's going she has to know that the map is clear where she's going and then when she actually engages like there's nobody like, when she's far away from your from from your front line you have to know that nobody's gonna dive, or nobody's gonna flunk her, and, and stuff like that. And that, that's just something I cannot communicate to a quick match team. Anyway, we're gonna try to make her work. Tr check out how good she is with the latest changes, and just gonna have some fun. One more thing, I really want to say is that thank you guys again. I can't express how much how thankful I am. It's really a emotional moment for me because this might be one of the last videos I'm gonna make for quite a while. Um, so thank you for being a part of my life, and thank you for enjoying. Um, thank you for you know for staying, for liking, and for commenting. Um, I really appreciate. It. And hopefully, I'm gonna be back as soon as I possibly can. But um, anyway, let's get into Chromie. Let's not get emotional. Let's go. Here we go again. That was very quick. That was basically instant queue time. Alright, boys and girls, after a very quick queue time, we find ourselves on the Black Hearts bait today. On level 1, we're gonna go for Compounding Aether. After hitting 25 heroes with Sand Blast, increases damage by 100. Uh, Sand Blast is our Q ability. It's a very wrong skill, a very, not wrong, but long, uh, rather, skill shot in front of us. Um, uh, basically, she is all about, like, if you still haven't seen you know, a, video, a video on her, uh, what she's about, she's about uh, and like artillery. She's an artillery mage. That's what she's um, she's known at. Um, so she has you know this a very long ability, you know the, the skill shot, the sound blast, the sound blast, and she also has this dragon breath, which is also another very um, very long ability, a very like, long range ability. And she also has this um, time trap, which I'm gonna place right here. If anybody is caught in it, there will be a caught or. Um, for two seconds, basically, there will be stasis for two seconds, letting me, uh, letting me do some uh, some interesting stuff here with the um, uh, you know with my, with my uh, with my combos and stuff. Ah, I'm trying to get her. Just the damage I'm able to do. She's dead, right? I thought so. No, okay, she's not dead. It was very close. I'm just gonna place uh, place uh, a mine right there. We're gonna start our attack, and honestly, we are be really bad at doing objective. Um, Sylvanas is coming out somewhere around here. I'm, I'm just gonna. I'll, I tried to juke her, but it looks like False is gonna come in for the kill. And the the enemy Chromie is coming out, so I'm gonna do this here. Bam! Almost picking up a kill on the enemy Chromie right there. I thought I saw a sound over, but it looks like I was just mistaken. My mana is really low now. Holy shit! The, like the reduced cooldowns might actually be um, a very very big issue for a Chromie now. Uh, by the way, her her cooldowns were uh, a little bit reduced. Her W ability cooldown was reduced by two seconds, and her uh, her Q ability cooldown was reduced by I think half a second. But you know, it's still quite a significant re uh, reduction. And uh, level four, we're gonna go for uh, piercing sounds. I, I really want to. I really want to hit two targets um, when when throwing my Q. And I, you know, also when I hit two targets, I will also 
um, will be getting two stacks of my, you know, of my, of my questing talent. So that's so, so that's awesome. Can I get that glow before I try to make my way away? Looks like the enemy Sylvanas is going to get deleted by our friendly. Um, what's his name? Okay, I, I won't be able to get her. Maybe if she rotates around this way. She didn't. Okay, I, I, I tried um, to kind of predict where she was going. But then that would have been a kill. But like she, he, he's she, he's still away from me. I'm gonna turn my three, my two coins. Why not? Um, not a bad idea ever. It, actually, Nova was trying to get these coins. Damage coming out on the enemy. Uh, Sylvanas is gonna be able to pick up a kill now. I'm, I'm, I'm actually gonna get caught in the stasis, but a friendly, uh, a friendly team does pick up a slack, and we will. I'm just trying to watch out for this Nova. Nice! Living Bomb picking up a kill there on the enemy Sergeant Hammer. So, at the end it all worked out. At the end it all worked out, mate. Okay. We're, gonna do, we're gonna come in here, get this cleared up, and we will be good to go. The enemy team coming up over there. They, you know, they, they're, they're putting themselves in the choke points themselves. I'm gonna hit, get a hit, hit there on the enemy Tychus. Now he actually falls into my trap. Might might picking up some, might be picking up some damage there, but looks like we will not be able to do so. I'm going to try to hit some damage here on this enemy. Um, on the enemy Tychus. I just missed all my skill shots. Jab, 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 jab. Uh, the enemy different team is picking up the slack for me. And this avenge we are going to go for Chrono Sickness, slowing the enemy uh, the enemy caught in it. I sh I, sh I should actually be doing W into the Q, so that's my that's my that's, that's my bad. You guys see that I don't play Chromi that often. I, I actually haven't played there in a little bit, so I'm just trying out how are the changes so far. I like them. It seems it's, it's actually very noticeable um, how much uh, how much more damage she's doing. Stikus is trying to be really greedy. Nova, maybe yes, she's picking up a kill here on the enemy. Uh, sorry, on the friendly Falstead. Um, Oh sh that didn't hit us bullshit man She's in there right? Oh she's not there? What? No she's dead right? Yeah. She's definitely dead. There's a hit on the enemy hammer and now I'm just doing this. If I possibly can, this is a kill on our friendly Falstead. We're gonna do this and this. Ugh. Just not predicting uh, how fast really Tychus was going there. It was really all my fault. Anyway, yeah. So uh, what Chronos is gonna do? They're gonna slow it. Uh, how long is the slow? Three seconds, fifty percent, and also reducing the. And also reducing the cooldown by two seconds. Uh, not by two seconds, but actually by fifty percent. So the cooldown is actually only nine seconds. That's pretty good. They they buffed it. They used to just the slow. I do believe myself. Don't don't call me on that because I might be wrong. <laughs> uh, the friendly hammer looks like she's in a little bit of a pickle. What I'm going to do right here is get some damage on the enemy hammer, basically deleting her from the battlefield. Uh, but it looks like the. Uh, the uh, Enemy Nova? Oh yeah, she should go down. Yeah, she's fine. She should go down. As long as she goes down, <laughs> you know, I'm all happy. And on this range, we're gonna go for Temporal Loop. I've actually heard quite a lot about that um, that ability, and honestly, um, it is uh, just a better choice. You know, it, it allows you to secure some kills, um, and you know, just slowing sounds. This, as I said, uh, right in the fir in our first like kind of a theory craft video uh, we did for for the podcast with our, with our D Dodge Roll games. Um, it just doesn't do enough. The enemy Nova rise right there. Oh, oh my god! I'm sorry, Nova, but you are fucking dead, though. 
I'm gonna wait. There's the temporal loop. There's the damage. I'm, I'm actually not gonna hit some of my skill shots, but I'm just gonna finish her off with my Q. Oh no! I did hit her with my W, but I wasn't able to get a hit, hit, hit here with my Q. I'm gonna get, try to get a hit here, and we will actually trade hits. I do believe so. Uh, I need to be careful because I, I think she she's taking the same talents as me, right? No, she's going for a W build. Okay, cool. Oh shit! Oh god, this is just bad. Ooh. Oh, so good. Okay, okay, we we Gucci, we Gucci. Uh, because I'm an alterly, uh, alterly ma uh, artillery mage, I can just do stuff like this, uh, you know, just over the wall, you know, without without Hammer actually even noticing me too much. And I'm gonna try to stay, try to stay careful as well. Um, enemy, uh, what I'm gonna do is just get him in the loop. Uh, again, my my uh, my, my cooldown on my, on my W still wasn't there. Oh god, okay, that's Nova. See, as soon as Nova can get like her sights on me, that's just me dead right there. Anyway, level 12. I, didn't, I actually haven't expect, I haven't explained the her trait yet, which is just kind of bother me. We are gonna go, hmm. What did enemy, go, enemy Nova go for? She went for Precision Strike. So I'm gonna go for reaching through time. Uh, if she would have went for triple tap, I would have went for bye bye, just because it kills you much, much, um, much slower. And I just, ra I just like the extended range. Like if, if she, like if this, if she's not careful, <laughs> you can see from what distance I can do my damage. But put this behind me just in case Nova wants to come in here and do some damage to us. But it looks like she's gonna be right there in the middle. The enemy does get the turn in right there, almost for. Oh, actually, okay, that was bad. I could have gotten killed right there. Somebody. I'm not sure why we're still here. And uh, Necromi just losing mana right there for no reason. Yeah, we can do that if you guys want. But I don't know, it's not gonna do us too good. I did not go for my bronze talents, therefore there's going to be no no um, you know, no benefits. No, uh, what's the what's the word I'm looking for? I guess I, I guess I can just say benefits. There's, there's going to be no benefit of for me uh, to actually attacking them with my Q because Q will only attack heroes. I haven't mentioned that, but that's the, that's, the, that's the truth. The really sad truth about Chromie. Uh, I'm gonna try to maybe put my uh, my thing right there. Do not try to be careful, as, as careful as I possibly can. Uh, just because this Nova is an issue. And honestly, uh, the way I'm positioning right right here is honestly just atrocious. Uh, the enemy Sylvanas is... No, please don't. That's a kill. I'm just doing this like, like it's like it's so easy, but honestly, it's not. So uh, actually, I'm just I'm I'm way out of position right here, and I should not be doing that completely. Uh, I'm just playing really bad Chromie right right at that moment. Anyway, so our trait is called Time Walker. It basically allows us to get all of our talents one talent uh, one level early earlier than everybody. So you know, instead of going uh, one, four, seven, ten, thirteen, sixteen, twenty. Um, we are, you know, we go one, one early. So one, three, six, uh, nine. Oh shit. Oh, it's way too fucking greedy!
Uh, on this range, we're gonna go for Quantum Overdrive. I still believe this is the best option for you to go on this level range. Uh, the other two were nerfed a little bit. This is to be, this is to be able to be stacked up to up to 50%. So this has been, uh, you know, this has been nerfed quite, uh, quite a lot. Uh, you know, 10% is actually quite, uh, quite a big, uh, quite a big, you know, knockoff on, on, on any, on any, uh, ability on any talent uh, per se. Uh, for any Azmanan does the go down again just because he keeps playing away from us for no apparent reason. That's basically what I did right there. Um, but uh, yeah, you'll be getting your um, your talents on level 1, 3, 6, 9, um, 12, 15, and then 19 or something like that. Um, the enemy, uh, the friendly Sergeant Hammer going down there, Oof, just very, very quickly. Honestly, I'm very, very exposed here to the damage from the enemy Nova, but it looks like she won't be capitalizing on that at all. Uh, Savant is trying to make her way behind us, so if we do catch her out of position, we might be able to pick up a kill. Uh, honestly, Savant might be trying to sneak in, sneak in this camp. No, okay, she's not. Uh, he looks like she backed up to uh, to safety. That'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna try and try here, maybe help. Our um, uh, false dead. So that was actually Novak going into our um, into our uh, ability into you know into our into our time trap, uh, but we won't be able to do too much right here. It looks like he will actually be able to get a kill. Um, guys, I can't do this by myself. And the uh, friendly Asmana was actually getting you know with a. March of Sin? I, I, I don't remember what, what, what that ability is called. Anyway, Sylvanas is going to be taken out. Everybody's going to be taken out. Uh, there's, a, there's a coin right there, and I need, to, I, I still need to be careful. Like I'm, I'm that squishy that I'm still, need to, I still just still need to be careful. I'm going to temporarily loop him. Oh shit! Oh, oh, it feels good. Feels good. <laughs> I was like 30 health or something. That was so bad. Anyway, if enemy tank has fallen down, given us all the coins he has gathered, and we would have been fine. And the story again by the you know not the best kind of um, commentary to per se. Uh, this is my last video, and I'm basically trying to rush it out as uh, you know as, as as much as I can. And to the, right now it's about three o'clock in the morning, and I'm still oh shit okay. <laughs> you, can, you can see the blow up damage is just sometimes ridiculous on her. Um, not sometimes, but almost always. If I can, also, potentially, if I can catch Nova into the temporal loop, she is going to be just 100% dead. She is squishy enough that. Uh, the Sylvanas, too, by the way. So, what your temporal, uh, temporal loop should be, should be doing? Should be securing kill, definitely. Oh shit. I need to be careful, guys. Ooh, run! Oh, I'm so, so fucking dead. That's bullshit. I just, I just call that bullshit. Uh, honestly, split second, and she she was so close to walking into this. Uh, it's just nothing, nothing could do. Again, quick match is actually a very, very bad, um, very, 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 very bad thing um, to do <laughs> to play when you're playing Chromie. I mean, you need a fully coordinated team just because uh, you know she needs she hundred percent just needs somebody to cover her. She needs a front line. She needs support. She's one of these characters who's a very, very hard cutty, who really can't do anything by herself in, at any point in the game. Any point in the game. Because if she, caught, if she gets caught early game, she gets raped. If she gets caught um, uh, late game, she gets raped too. Uh, it might, you know, might, might be even worse. The enemy Savannah's here falling from the friendly Pyroblast. She'll be caught very, very nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Uh, so we do get actually killed for that. Honestly, I really hope we're not going to fall too behind, too far behind uh, the enemy team. Yeah, Nova's right there. If she shows if she, she, if she shows herself. Oh, she was right there, right? That's some damage. Ah, 
I, I fucked up. I fucked up the timing again. So here's a kill on the enemy uh, Tychus. I'm gonna be caught in the stasis, therefore I won't be focused by by the laser, and we'll ho hopefully try to try to focus it down so it doesn't do too much damage. The um, the enemy sergeant hammer is right there. Honestly, I still want to pursue her. I'm just gonna put down uh, the my time trap right there. Maybe slow her down a little bit. I'm gonna go top two protect against this push. I think that was actually made by the enemy Sylvanas, but. On the we are going to go for past and future me. What it's going to do whenever I, I cast my Q, it's actually going to spawn a kind of like a like a little clone of me. And then what I can do is actually I can actually do this, and my clone is going to be dealing 50% um, of, of the damage I would deal, and it's also going to be to be doing um, the untalented version. So you know, so it's not going to be piercing, not going to be additional damage from my level one talent. But again, it's still it's still some damage. You know, if if you, if if you can get it, you know, if you can get it, it like you're Gucci. Holy shit, that's a whole bunch of minions. So we're just gonna start auto-attacking. The enemy Nova does fall into the trap, uh, so we know she's actually gonna be rotating into the middle, uh, you know, to maybe maybe turn in. Does she have any coins? She does not. Therefore, she we just know she's rotating for some kills. Um, I need to be careful because she was somewhere right there. Uh, the Sylvanas is somewhere in this uh, general area. The friendly Sergeant Hammer. I just, I just focus on the kill so much that that's what happens. I mean, you know, I, I, I almost got her like she just got, you know, put down to really, really far down. But you, you can see how really situational um, Chromie is. I mean, this, this enemy Chromie, she's doing not doing anything, right? I mean, I haven't seen, I haven't seen her doing shit, jack shit. Yeah, she's doing way less damage than I'm doing. She's been more a, a laning kind of Chromie. Where honestly, Chromie shit laning. I think she, yeah, she picked up the most. What? So this is exactly the reason why she's not hitting her uh, her quest talent. She went for Dragon's Eye, increasing the damage instead of going for Mobius Loop, where she'll be able to throw this and that everywhere. And by the way, the damage on her W was just buffed. Therefore, uh, going for Mobius Loop is better than it was before. You know, I, I know it's still a 25% decrease, but goddamn, it's so much better than Dragon's Eye. I mean, you know, for me... You know, it would actually make sense just because I'm not actually specking to my W at all, and you know, it doesn't. Uh, and you know, I'm not actually going for my questing talent. Excuse me on my W, but um, again, guys, if you're going for for you know for your W build or whatever you whatever you, you guys try to do, please don't don't spec for that. Uh, so we, we're gonna do our Gucci, our Gucci best here to try to defend against this boss and against the push from the enemy team. Looks like the enemy team does not want to push with the boss. And uh, they're just gonna go away and probably uh, gather up those chests that are on there. I'm gonna come in here, try to hit that boss, maybe right there. Yeah, good timing, good timing, Kalo. I haven't still actually used my uh, uh, quantum overdrive, and I still haven't explained it. Right, so what my quantum overdrive is doing upon activation, I'm going for 10 seconds. I will be doing 20% more ability damage. Therefore, you know, like uh, basically, whenever I am sure I'll be hitting something, I can activate. The, you know, I can activate it to actually deal quite like, uh, just a bunch, a bunch more damage. What I can do here just to get uh, some um, some vision with my with my clone. Honestly, only thing that I'm doing. That's just a clone. She was somewhere right there, right? Yeah, she was, but she's not there anymore. So I should definitely... Uh, if, well, before I try to blow anybody up, what I need to... There's a double kill with just a single thing. The Nova is somewhere behind me, so what I'm gonna do is just gonna try to put this behind me and get a kill there on the enemy Nova. Just like that! Do Yeah! <laughs> uh, I, I do get a kill, but I am the only one there for like, you know, you can see, like, I'm Chromie. I won't be able to do too much. Uh, so what I can do is just come in here and try, try to finish up this wave. This game is still 100% uh, winnable. I, I do agree with the friendly team. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put this there, so if anybody gets caught in it, they will be in a lot of trouble. Get these two destroyed. Yeah, more. Uh, 
Honestly, Mobius Loop is you know is super good for wave clear, super good for uh, you know for for getting your W build on point. You know if you get your W build, you know um, if you get your stacks, goddamn, like you can do so much shit. You, 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 you can do so much stuff. It's just ridiculous. But you know what? When it's of course you know I'll be dealing more damage you know this way. Uh, you know, uh, just apparently, just you know just straight up, just because it's a straight up damage, right? You see what I mean? Uh, but again. If you go for Mobius Loop and you get all your stacks, you can do you can do shit ton of damage. And I'm gonna actually replace my time trap right here. So if anybody decides to go into this, um, go into and try to do this camp with us, uh, they will be surprised by this, and I'll be able to burst them down with my Q and you know, with my um, with my Quantum Overdrive. So right there, you, you, you guys actually saw that I was dealing massive damage just because of my Quantum Overdrive. Almost like just crazy, crazy damage can come out from that. And if anybody gets caught and not cleansed from, by the way, temporal loop, by the yes, can't get cleansed. Um, if anybody gets get, gets caught by that, like for example, this Sylvanas might do. Like right there, you can see, you can just see the crazy amounts of damage that you know that, that's doing. I'm gonna actually die here, uh, but it's not gonna matter because we're gonna get killed on Sylvanas. Uh, again, you can see I was actually I'm so squishy. Chromie is that squished that I'm getting taken out by minions. Like minions put me low enough so the enemy Nova could actually hit me with just a single precision strike, just take me out. Honestly, it was enough uh, almost for her only single one basic attack. It was, I'm, I'm the, uh, she's just still that squishy. So if you guys thinking you know she might be a little bit too tanky now, might you know might have a little too much health to play around. Think again, because she's still uh, the squishiest hero in the entire game. Like uh, you know, when it, when it comes to mages, and uh, the enemy Nova dealing quite a lot of damage here on the enemy Kelfast and Falstead. Uh, both of them will be taken out. Asmadan uh, was trying to get to take out the enemy Tychus, but he did back up afterwards. And is that going to be? G yes, it's going to be GG. The enemy team is going to turn, and probably that's probably going to be enough to finish our core with full shields. Is that enough? I don't actually know. Well, as we as we planned, but well, I can't win. I can't win them all. Sure, we can't win them all, but I we still get a kill here on the enemy hammer, right? Ah, oh, we didn't even we didn't we didn't even need that temporal loop. I thought I was out of that, but okay, whatever. We're still gonna get kill, killed here by the enemy Nova, and that's gonna be GG. Honestly, uh, we we completed our life. We killed Hammer like a couple of times. Um, I don't know. It looks like our, 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 our team took that well, so I'm pretty happy with the outcome. I did die way too many times just because the enemy Nova. Again, like when you're not getting, uh, you know, when you're not getting frontline, when you're not getting supports as a Chromie, you're just She's gonna have a tough game. So, you know, she's not, not the best character for quick match, though. Let's see her stats. I really, really. I actually did not. I actually died the, the least times, and I did the most damage out, out of our entire team. Sergeant Hammer just trailing behind me. Kel'Thas doing very, very low damage for Kel'Thas. Nova, on the other hand, on the enemy team, uh, you know, taking me by surprise and just doing a little bit more damage. Very good. Uh, I, I really call this a good game. Honestly, you know. Um, I didn't expect that it would it would have went that well. Uh, Q build, as I said, guys, you know, I have my own W build, you know, that I do believe is viable. But Q build, you know, just because I said, you know, just because I said it's worse, I, you know, it, it doesn't it doesn't mean it is worse. You know, for you, maybe it might be much better. For somebody else, it might be much worse. You know, it's all up to your play style. And you just have to remember to play her very carefully and really trail with your team like when it, whenever you get caught you're just dead you're just you're still there whenever i was caught by myself it was like dude i can't do anything you have to you have to either peel her off of me but we had no warriors to peel for us so that's just how the game goes it's just a team that much right there on black cards bay for you guys we're gonna go over the the build again you guys already saw why is gaslo here we were playing chromie just a second ago okay so, by the way, you guys saw my new awesome, awesome mount. I love that mount, dude. I fucking love that mount. By the way, I did buy the um, Deterial Charger, which I actually wanted very, very much. Where is he? Where's that bad boy? There he is. Oh, that just guy looks amazing. One, one of the best looking mounts, in my opinion. Anyway, uh, what we're we going to do, we're going to go over the build again. 
So, on level 1 we went for Compounding Aether, increasing our damage every time we hit some, right? I was like, 20, oh, so it doesn't actually empower your, I, I, I thought it did. But this guy doesn't actually empower your, your Q up until you get 25 hits. Up until, you, uh, like, when you get 25 hits, you're just going to get straight up 100, uh, you're just strict, um, static number added to, you know, at the end of every single damage you do. Uh, you know, your, your, your Q is going to be increased by 100. That's interesting. Um, you know, this, like, every single hit will empower it by two, so you're getting, like, a constant increase in your damage. But this one, you just get, like, a really, like, a very, um, sudden jump into, into just a little bit more damage. You saw how much damage we're able to do. You just kind of delete. Uh, if, if we have a squishy on enemy team like Nova, if she would be caught in the, you know, in the temporal loop, and she wasn't full, on full health, I would have, uh, and w when I would have, uh, you know, with the full stacks of my Q and my W, um, which I actually did not. Uh, maybe I should have went for that just to kind of try to delete her from from uh, from the game. Anyway, yeah. So if I, if I would have, you know, basically put it in parallel loop, timed it well, so she would have been caught by the W and the Q at the same time with my quantum overdrive, that would have been the kill. It's just a hundred percent, uh, you know, hundred percent zero deletion of the enemy uh, of the enemy character, especially when it's a squishy like that. Uh, on level three, we went for piercing blast just because I wanted to get some damage in you know in a straight line. Uh, so what it does is it's actually going to pierce through target, pierce through the first target and hit the second target after, uh, behind it too, if there's any. Uh, on level six, we did go for uh, dragon's uh, not a dragon's eye, but chrono sickness. I, we, I I think dragon's eye actually is much better here just because uh, when you time it with with temporal loop, it does 25 more damage. When you hit somebody in its center, so if you if you time it perfectly with your temporal loop, or with your time, or with your time trap, you're golden. You can get some crazy, crazy damage out, uh, out on the enemy. Uh, but we did go for Chrono Sickness, which, by the way, when somebody goes out of the stasis, when they get caught, you know, okay, so they get caught into your your time trap for three uh, for two seconds, they're safe stasis, and what this is going to do? This is going to reduce the cooldown just flat out by fifty percent. So from eighteen jumps to nine. And after the stasis ends, the enemy is slowed. So you're actually, it's actually much easier for you to predict where they're gonna go, where they, you know, where they're gonna, uh, and basically where, how fast they'll be getting there. Uh, so very, very good. For 50%, 50% is just a massive slow for three seconds. Uh, just some amazing crowd control there. On level nine, we did go for temporal loop, returns an enemy to a previous position. So basically, it, ret it returns a person. Um, to the position where he was three seconds ago. So I mark him three seconds past, and he comes back to that, uh, comes back straight to that position. It sets up nice, some nice combos, and also um, sometimes, sometimes allows me to to escape. Uh, actually, did not allow me to escape. Uh, I think one time actually I tried to use it, you know, for um, for my retreat, but sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You can't win all of them, just as our hammer said. Uh, reaching through time was the one I picked up here. Honestly, bye bye. I don't think it would have been too much of an uh, you know of a helpful talent just because the enemy t the enemy Nova. If she would have went for a triple tap, sure. Like if she would have went for a triple tap and I was at hundred at hundred percent full health, uh, full health or or half health, I could just just press B and just be out of there before she could kill me from long range. Uh, but honestly, just with with reaching, with reaching through time, I'm able to just stay away much farther from the enemy team, just increases all of my range by 25%. That's just crazy. You know, her range is as long as it is, and this just increases it even more by 25. Uh, fifth, on level 15, we did go for Quantum Overdrive. Uh, basically, upon activation, it's going to increase our ability power by 20%. This used to be 25, by the way, but it is 20 now for 10 seconds. So use it well. You'll be able to get four Qs. Uh, four Qs out and one W. Yeah, one W. Unless you have Mobius loop. If you have Mobius loop, you'll be getting you'll be getting two out. So you can see how how actually Mobius loop might be going handy with your with your W build. And then on level nineteen, we did go for past and future me creating uh, kind of a, this clone of you that you know whenever you you cast your Q again, it's actually going to cast it in the same direction, like the, in the direction of your cursor, uh, to where you're casting. Very, very good ability. It uh, allows you to get some more damage out on the field, uh, especially if you can predict where the enemies are going. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. <sighs> so hard for me because it is the, it's my last video before I leave you guys. 
leave you guys you know I will, I will i will be back eventually i will be back i will be still here on social media i will be trying to make some vlogs maybe here and there because i will i am actually moving to a different country so it is actually quite interesting where i'm going and what i'll be doing but um again very very emotional moment for me hope you guys en again enjoy this video if you did sna smash that like ring for me you know it's my last day uh, before i have to uh, leave you guys for a little bit uh, and i and i already miss you guys and without further talking, I'm going to leave you guys here and I'll be back whenever I'll be back. I'll, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll, go, I'll let you guys know, you know, like so, uh, social media makes it so easy now to uh, to update you guys on anything that, you know, like it, it's not hard at all. But thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Peace on the motherfucking treat. Boy!